Hi everyone, Father Jim here. I just want to give you a bit of an update on what we are doing here at Our Lady of Dollars Parish as we start to settle into this new way of being church together. The first thing is to say that we're still here. Even though the church doors are closed, the church, the community of the church is open for business. We here in the parish team, some of us are now working from home, but some of us are here in the parish office. So we are here if you need to contact us, if you need to call us, email us, somebody will definitely respond at any hour you call. But the pastoral council and the finance committee met this week by video chat, and we're learning to use the Zoom technology and to find new ways to communicate too. So what are we doing? The first thing I want to say is that our priority is to help you to pray at home, to continue indeed to deepen your prayer life. That's what we most want to do. Um, already a number of people have asked if we will be live streaming um, a mass from the church. And on advice from the pastoral council and the parish team, Father John and I have decided not to do that. And the reason why is that mass, the Eucharist, is the action of the gathered community. And we, when, when we can't gather, we don't have Mass. That's a shame, and that's what I spoke about in last week's video. But that's the reality we have right now, where we can't come together. And to simply watch Mass uh, on a screen is it's quite passive, it's quite derivative, but it's really not the ideal. Now, you may still want to do that, and of course you are welcome. And I'll put a link in the description below uh, to the live stream Mass from our, our DOS Cathedral at Waitara, which Bishop Anthony will be celebrating sometimes. But what we want to do is actually try to encourage you to pray at home, either personally, with your household, or your family. So uh, there's a link in the description below to a new page on the website called Ways to Pray at Home. And we'll, over the weeks, we'll start to put uh, new, new ideas in there which you and your family might like to use. At the moment, myself, Father John, and we've got Sam French with, with us again. We pray together every morning as a, as a household. And we pray indeed for you, for the parish. But we pray for many things. So we're finding that to be a great experience too. The second thing we're doing as a parish is we're trying to do more outreach. When you can't come to us, let us try to reach out to you. So we are making phone calls, emails, and video chats out to as many people as we can reach. Now we want to make sure we don't miss people. It's going to take many months to call everyone, but we want to make sure we've got your contact details. So there's a link below to the parish census form. If you don't think we've got your up-to-date details, you might like to uh, complete that and send it back to the parish too. But I've had a really wonderful uh, few days of, of phoning people and indeed visiting people. Of course, keeping that, maintaining that uh, one and a half metre distance. But it's been lovely to have more time to sit with people, to listen, to pray with people one-on-one -on -one without the busyness of other things in the parish going on. I have to say, I have to go soon, I have to be back to the parish for something. Well, it's lovely having more time to, I guess, be more, more, uh, more intentionally pastoral with people. So that's something I'm really enjoying. Indeed, all the parish team are joining me in that project of phoning and reaching out to everyone. The third thing, though, is that the life of the parish kind of continues in all the usual ways. All the background stuff of maintenance and finance and administration, we still have to do. So we in the parish are still doing those things. But many other things in the life of the parish continue as well. We've had, uh, we've had baptisms last weekend, we've had funerals last week, and those things, of course, will continue, though, with smaller numbers. Um, just today, somebody phoned up to make a booking for a wedding for next year. So those kind of things of, of planning, pre preparing people for sacraments, these things continue. The Sacrament of Reconciliation will continue to be available on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock and Saturdays at 9.30 a.m., but will be over in the parish meeting rooms rather than in the church building. And so, and so the parish will continue in all the usual ways other than coming together for the big events. And we're going to find new ways in the days ahead as well, in the weeks ahead, to do this. So we'd love to hear from you. What do you need? How can we help you? Anyway, that's enough for now. I'll see you again in a few days' time with the weekend homily. God bless you.